Colors surround us every day, and we don't necessarily think about it until we come across a cool picture or the shade difference between our shoes and our favorite t-shirt. We get colors thrown at us every day. Rainbow bagels, rainbow hair, different t-shirt colors. We coordinate our outfits to colors and how they match. It's a necessary and extremely important part of our lives, but it begs the question, what really is color? There are many ways that we use color. Artists use different colors to express emotions. Marketers attach colors to their brands to make them more recognizable. Animals use colors to ward off predators or attract mates, and people do too. What is color? Scientists define color as the limited range of light that we humans can see. We classify different types of light based on their wavelength which can be anywhere from many meters in between each wave peak to lengths as short as the diameter of an atom. The full electromagnetic spectrum ranges from high energy light waves with short wavelengths, like cosmic and gamma rays, to low energy light waves with long wavelengths, like radio waves. The light we are able to see, called the visible light spectrum, ranges from violet light, which has a wavelength of about 400 nanometers, to red light, which has a longer wavelength of about 650 to 700 nanometers. The definition of color is the property possessed by an object of producing different sensations on the eye as a result of the way the object reflects or emits light. So basically, light of all colors go into an object, like here, an apple, and it absorbs all the colors but reflects the red to our eyes, so we see the apple as red. Everything in our lives is made of color and light, which is why we go exploring during the daytime, because the world around us is so beautiful and we wouldn't have a way to see it if there was no light to be absorbed or reflected. But have you ever wondered why we don't see color at night? Obviously because there's no light. And yes, that's the reason, but it's more complicated than that. When the lights go off, no light or little light is being sent to the objects, making them unable to reflect colors to our eyes, so the second the light goes off, the colors go away. The colors black and white are a little more complicated than your average red t-shirt though. And red is more complicated than purple. Each color or tone has its own explanation of why it is the way that it is. For example, white reflects all colors and what comes to our eyes is all the colors at once. The object doesn't absorb any color whatsoever. The pure white is the brightest thing that we can look at. Which explains why sometimes it hurts our eyes if our white shoes are a little too white. The sun itself is white light. White light is so pure because all of the colors are reflected off of it. None of the color is absorbed. The sun has the brightest white light that we see, and we all know how bright that is to look at. Thankfully, we have sunglasses. Black, however, is the opposite. Objects appearing black actually just absorb the light, and every one of the colors out there appear what we call black. It's referred to as an absence of color, but really it has just absorbed all of this color and it turns out to be the darkest color or shade that we know of. If you mix all the colors or markers together on paper when you ran out of a black marker as a kid, you should understand this concept. But if not, then you should try it. The paper absorbs all of the colors, covering the bright white of the paper and now making it unable to reflect more light as layer on top of layer covers the paper. But then again, technically those are shades, so we're going to get back to colors. Red has the lowest frequency on the visible light spectrum, but purple has the highest frequency, which we learned before, which is why they're on the opposite sides of the visible light spectrum. What appears before violet is ultraviolet, and what appears after red is infrared, which we can't see those because they're not on the visible light spectrum. So there's a reason why we see the colors the way that we see them. It all depends on the amount of light that gets put onto each object. Whether it absorbs it or reflects it, that's how the colors are seen. So just remember, when you turn off the light, everything's going to be black. And when you turn on the light, the light bulb will be white. And that's just because of the way that light reflects and absorbs off of objects.